The moon is, as I mentioned, in Leo. And that is pretty much opposite Aquarius in the astrological sense. They're opposite each other, you know, so the sun is opposite whatever the sign, the sun sign is opposite the full moon sign. So the sun is in Aquarius and the sun is joined in Aquarius by a lot of planets right now. Jupiter is there, Saturn is still there. Um, and those two will be there for a little while. Mercury is there. Um, so there's a lot of power, a lot of energy with the sun in that uh, sign of Aquarius. And then the moon's kind of off on its own in the sign of Leo. And the, the moon, the, the Leo sign is about, uh, it's an energy of self. The energy of Aquarius is kind of more of an energy of the group or the collective. And so you've kind of got them, you know, opposite each other. And you've got this group of planets, this powerful energy over here with the sun. And then you've got the moon kind of on its own. So um, it's a great time to go into the self. Uh, but the moon can be very emotional as well. So just keep that in mind that perhaps you could be feeling emotional perhaps that feeling of independence of the moon being on its own even though all these others are over here um, it can also feel lonely and so if you have been feeling alone uh, just know that that could be related to the energy of the moon right now and that you're not alone and that you have this global circle to support you here and maybe we can kind of shift rather than looking at the moon being on its own as a lonely energy maybe we can look more as that being an energy of independence and you know we're also drawing on the energy of aquarius with all these other planets in there with the different things that they stand for and the sun there and so as we think about courageous vulnerability our theme of this leo full moon circle let's think about courageous vulnerability within ourself and the self energies, the self care, the self confidence, the release of limiting self beliefs that allow us to have that courage to be vulnerable and yet still be strong. Uh, and then when we think about that Aquarius energy, can we think about our community and the idea of, and this can be a theme for the entire year of 2021, as we really step into ourselves and owning our self-energy, owning our confidence, deciding what our contribution will be to the world and celebrating that and believing in ourselves. Um, you know, can we also, with the community energy, find a community that supports that in us? a community that believes in us, in the individual, in ourself, and allows us to be courageous and vulnerable within that community, allows us to be ourselves. Sometimes, we've talked about this a little bit in, in other circles, uh, you know, sometimes with families, all well-meaning, or even with friends that maybe you've been friends with for a really long time, when you've got these relationships, um, a lot of times, you know, those people will see you in a certain way. And if you're on a spiritual path, which I'm guessing if you're here, you probably are, um, you know, sometimes as you grow on the inside, on your spiritual path, and um, you, you know, start to unlock your intuition, you start to unlock your gifts, and all the beautiful things inside you, you change. And sometimes the people that maybe have been around you the longest, um, they'll notice that change and not everyone is comfortable with change. And um, a lot of times that can make us feel a bit insecure because we're changing and we're confident in our new ideas, our new spiritual path, our new, you know, intuitive insights, and it's all great stuff. And sometimes you'll share that with someone who might be, you know, a friend or a family member that you've known part or most of your life, and they may not be at that same place on their path, and they may not get it. 
And so what I'm encouraging is that don't let that ever, ever discourage you. Discourage. You know, don't let that take away your courage. Keep your courage. And as we balance these energies of Leo and the energy of self with the energy of the sun right now in Aquarius, all those planets in Aquarius and the energy of the collective or the community, seek to find a community that will support you in your new path, support you in your choice of how you want to show up in the world, how you want to make a contribution to the world. Um, keep all of that in mind as you, you know, step forward on your spiritual path. And this is, you know, coming through me, a message from the universe, just to let you know that you are doing great. You are amazing. You have everything you need right there inside you to show up in the world in any way that you want to and to make whatever contribution feels intuitively like it's what your passion, it's what you're supposed to do, it's your creativity in the world. Leo loves creativity as well. Um, the universe is here to support you. I support you. The circle supports you, even if it feels like no one else supports you. And so I just wanted to get that message through to all of you on this evening. And uh, let's go ahead and set an intention around this Leo full moon and set an intention around yourself. This one's for you. And that is not selfish. That is where you begin on the inside. So think about setting an intention around this Leo full moon, around this confidence, this strength, and this courage. Allow yourself to be vulnerable, to open up to your passion, your truth, and it resonates with you. If it resonates with you, then it's right. And so set the intention around how you want to see yourself in the world and think too about, you know, who and where and what you want to surround yourself with. So bring the left palm to the heart center, back to that heart space. Leo loves the heart. Bring the right palm over the top, close the eyes, take a deep breath in as you focus on your third eye, feeling into your heartbeat. Exhale, release anything you don't need, any self-limiting beliefs, anything you might have been holding inside, any lack of confidence, let it go. Take another deep breath in, breathing into the heart. And as you exhale, release any discouragement, any time that your courage maybe has been challenged or taken away, let it go. Making room for that courageous vulnerability in your heart. We're going to fill it up. Fill up your heart with courageous vulnerability. Another deep breath in. Exhale, releasing the last bits of anything that doesn't serve you. Let it go. Give it to the full moon. The full moon is all about release. The moon, the light of the moon will shine illumination on anything that's holding you back and it will take that energy away if you release it. Grandmother Moon will transmute it and send it back to you as illuminating light. And she will send you courage and encouragement as well. So take a moment to reflect upon your full moon intention. What are you releasing? And then can you visualize yourself surrounded with courageous vulnerability, making your contribution of what you want to contribute to the world, just you. This one's up to you. And then visualize where you want to be, what you want to be, how you want to be, and who you want to be surrounded with. See it. Call it in. Plant that seed in the fertile soil of your lion heart. Deep breath in. 
Watering that seed of intention with the prana in your breath. Exhale, allowing that seed to take root in 